mythical sword of Aegis lies deep inside the Minotaur's labyrinth. Can you find your way past the ever-changing maze of walls? Avoid the Minotaur. Reach the temple to claim the sword. Before you start to play, build the game using the LEGO building instructions. Check that the LEGO dice is built with these six sides. Start spaces, heroes, columns, walls, Minotaur, Temple Spaces, Sword of Aegis, Lego Dice. The aim of the game is to get through the labyrinth and pass the Minotaur. The first hero to claim the Sword of Aegis wins the game. At the start of the game, everyone chooses a hero to play. In a two-player game, each player chooses two heroes to play. The youngest hero goes first, then, take turns clockwise. When it's your turn, roll the Lego dice. When you roll a number, move your hero up to that number of spaces. You can move over other figures, but not land on top of them. You can't move diagonally. Or over walls. Columns. Or the Minotaur. Every time you roll gray and black, you decide what happens. You can either move a wall or the Minotaur. When you move a wall, pick up any wall and put it back between any two columns or between a column and the edge of the board. Then you roll the Lego dice again and continue your turn. When you move the Minotaur, you can move him as far as you like in a straight line, but not over heroes, walls, or columns. Now turn the Minotaur to face in any direction. The Minotaur will attack any heroes who are in the two spaces in front of him. Then you roll the Lego dice again and continue your turn. If your hero is attacked, immediately put your hero back on one of the start spaces. The first hero to get through the labyrinth and reach one of the four temple spaces claims the Sword of Aegis and wins the game. In a two-player game, you must move both of your heroes onto temple spaces to win. Lego games are meant to be changed. Try adding one of these new rules or think up rules of your own. It is better if you change just one thing at a time and always remember to make sure everyone knows the rules before you start playing. The rules for moving the Minotaur change, and he just got a lot more dangerous. You can still only move the Minotaur in a straight line, but you can now move him over heroes and attack them without stopping. The rules for starting the game and claiming the sword change. At the start of the game, put the sword in the Minotaur's hand, and then put the Minotaur in the space in front of the temple. To claim the sword and win the game, you must now land behind or next to the Minotaur to fight it. You can't fight the Minotaur from the front. He's too strong. When you land behind or next to the Minotaur, roll the Lego dice to find out what happens. If you roll a number, you claim the sword and win the game. If you roll anything else, the Minotaur fights back. Put your hero back on one of the start spaces. The rules for building the Lego dice change. At the start of the game, rebuild the Lego dice so that both gray tiles are on one side and both black tiles are on another. When you roll gray, you can move two walls. When you roll black, you can move the Minotaur twice.